Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this edition, we want to continue the tutorial on the linear inequalities. And in this particular uh, episode, we are taking representation of linear inequality on a number line. How do we present our solution on a number line? We are where the number line have direction of numbers, having the positive side and the negative side. So we also know that the linear inequality make use of less than or less than or equals to greater than or greater than or equals to as the symbol other than the equal sign. So if we have uh, the sign, so if the sign is greater than or greater or equals to, then the arrow you are going to place on the number is going to be directed towards what? The right. As in, if I have a number line that has 0, 1, negative 1, as in always the direction. If I solve a solution and my answer is, let's say, x is greater than what? 1. It means 1 is the uh, first solution I'm having here. So, I am going to stand on that one. If this is the one, I stand on it. They said the arrow, the direction, is going to go to where? The right. Just as the sign is pointing. Pointing toward this way. So, stand on that number and indicate your arrow X is what? More than one. Meaning all values that are more than one is what the values of X are. So, two, three, four, five, in that order. All right. In another sense, if the sign is less than or less or equals to, the arrow is going to be directed towards the left. As in this case, x is what? Less than 2. Let's say minus 2. If I have my normal line, minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0, 2, in this way. What is the solution as the first? We stand on this as our solution here. So this is my negative word, 2. What are the arrows saying? It is saying less than. So all values that are going to go to the left. So the arrow will be drawn this way. Then x less than minus 2 will be placed on it. So the arrow is pointing towards where? The left. If you are using less than. Don't forget if this is also having the greater than or equals to the arrow still go that direction if i have it this way it will still go in this direction all right the third aspect is saying that if a condition is given on the set of integers what condition if a condition okay let me take it here if this is giving a condition this is a direct restriction the number is less than four it's less than four there's a condition here is less than 4 and the same time equals 4. This is also having a condition. So if a condition is placed on the set of integers, maintain the direction. As in this sense, we maintain this direction. As in this sense, we maintain the left direction of the arrow and put a dot in a circle. You see, here I just put a dot there. But because it is this, I am not going to put a dot in a circle on the integer, which is this, representing the solution. Otherwise, an empty circle. Which one is the otherwise? It is this that have a restriction. So now, let's reposition the, the representation. Now, if there is no condition, we have to use what? Empty circle. So now, I am going to stand here. And put an empty circle. So this is showing that this number 1 is not part of the solutions. The empty zero or circle is showing that the number which is part of the solution here, which is showing in your answer, is not part of the solutions of numbers representing x. So 1 is not part, but the numbers after 1 is part. Negative 2 is not part, but the numbers uh, below the negative 2. Ah, the solution but if there is an arrow having a condition they say what 
put a dot in a circle. Simply means shade the circle. If this is what I have, then this is going to be a shaded circle. If I have this, I'll be having a shaded circle. So this dot in a circle represents that the number there is included in the solution. This dot also shows that the negative 2 is part of the values of x. So these are the uh, two uh, aspects of normal line. It doesn't mean that if I have x, which is more than 25. So I should draw my normal line long enough to have 25 at the positive, 25 as negative. No, I can still have my normal line, have my uh, 0, 25, negative 25 in here, like this, with the arrow showing that there are more. I can leave it this way, then stand on my 25, showing the arrow to it this way, I am done. No need to calibrate equally, because there are times you get 37, 40 as the answer. You can't be calibrating. If you want to do more than this, you can still do 5, 10, 50, but that will also be a long process. We only want to see how it will be represented. So let's see how we can solve this. We have to solve and represent on a number line. So we solve as the steps we know under inequality, subtracting uh, 17 from both sides give us x less than what? 20 minus what? 17, which means that x is less than what? 3. So on your number line, as we have, we have our 0, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. I can have negative 1 in here. It's not necessary to have equal division, as in 4 divisions, so here should be 4. I am only looking for a positive value. So what is that value? It is what? 3. I am going to stop on that value. Is it having a condition? No. If no condition, open circle. The arrow is pointing towards where? The left. So draw this arrow, then put your x less than 3 on it. So this is your representation. No matter how the question is, after solving, you only need this as your answer. All right, and don't forget also that there are instances where you have one less than x, less than what? Four, which is a double inequality. There is nothing so separate or difficult about this. Just draw your number line. So now the number is 1. So stand on 1. Another number is what? 4. Stand on 4. Is there any condition? No. So empty 0. Any condition? No. Empty 0. So draw it together. So in a sense, what is the condition that you shade? If there's a condition for both, then it means you shade both sides. 1 less than x, less than what? 4. will be placed on that. So this is all about a representation of inequality on a number line. I believe the concept is uh, understood. If yes, share with your learning mate, subscribe if you are new, and comment so that we get interactive. Bye-bye.